page 16, Etude. An etude is a study piece. A lot of etudes, and I like them. They're fun. Usually working on sec some technical aspect or interpretive aspect. There's all kinds of etudes. This one is working on arpeggios. An arpeggio is simply a broken chord going up or down. Look at the first measure. In the left hand we have these three notes. It's a G chord. This is in the key of G major, by the way. It's a G chord. In the right hand you have these three notes, it's a G chord. That would be first inversion, but it's still a G chord. Next measure you have these three notes and these three notes. It's a 5-7 chord. One chord. So they're chords, but we break them up and when you do that we call it arpeggiated. It's an arpeggio. It's an arpeggiated chord or an arpeggio. So it's six eight times. Each eighth note is going to get a beat. So it's one, two, three, four, five. And as you play these, just let the hands, the, I transfer the weight from finger to finger. It's like rolling, like a, you're, you're just rolling is all you're doing. It's from here to roll it over here. I'm not trying to stay still and use the fingers on this. Uh uh, you, you roll it over. And then the right hand's coming down. Gonna move around a little bit, and that's kind of fun. It's a pretty piece. It says moderato. I don't know what moderato. It's some moderate speed somewhere in the middle somewhere. But it says it at the beginning. It's dolce leggero. I can't pronounce that word very well, but it means dolce is like a nice sweet thing, and leggero is quick and light. So keep it light and sweet. It's a little fast for moderato, but that may be what they're feeling. Because a lot of times in 6-8 time, it's not you don't feel it in 6, you can, but you don't. A lot of times it's felt in 2. That's why they're beaming these 8th notes, 3 to a beam. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And in that case, moderato is a little quicker. and you're just going back and forth. Kind of fun. Challenge will be eventually to do this without looking at the keyboard. Can you move around these a little bit and feel these distances and get them? You have to look at, at first, of course, to get the right spots, but eventually you want to feel these distances. Dynamic wise, they don't give you anything at the beginning, so keep it light and nice. At the end of the second line, they're telling you to come down, you d diminuend a little bit. <laughs> So you're coming up now. If you have to be a little louder to come down, not loud, just a little louder, and then a little softer, and then you're soft at the th third line, and then in the end of the third line you have the crescendo. You're coming up now, a medium loud at the last line, and then start getting softer and slow down gently. At the end, that note comes up on beat four because the dotted quarter note gets three counts. One, two, three, four, five, six. For the pedal, let's talk pedal. Hmm. I'd like you to try two different pedaling techniques so you can practice them both. If you want, you can play the first two lines with one technique and the last two lines with a different one, or play it all, play it multiple times with different techniques. The first technique would be exactly the way it, it's printed here, and that is a little silence between each measure. So at the first measure, I'm going to push the pedal down right after I play the first note. I'm going to lift the pedal up with the right hand before I play the next note. of silence between each measure. So practice that and see if you can get that pedal coming up just at the right time so you get just a little silence in there. We need this kind of pedaling when we get into phrasing. And it becomes really important. Then the other kind of pedaling I'd like you to practice or try is the syncopated or the legato pedaling where you push the note down and then the pedal and then change the pedals. Lift it up and down after you play the first note in each measure. Etc. 
right? So the whole thing's connected. So try this etude with both styles of pedaling and see what you think. At the end, the last one, that comes up on beat four, the pedal comes up with it. Four. Let's play this together very slowly just to double check the notes. Rhythm shouldn't be a problem, they're all eighth notes except for the last measure. I'm going to give it six counts because there's six beats in a measure. By the way, I'm going to use the separate pedaling with the first two lines and then I'm going to use the syncopated or the legato pedaling with the last two lines just so you can hear both styles. So go ahead and put your hands where they go. Foot's on the pedal. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Ready, go. Four. 